Bible believing Jeep Garage, everybody. Today, we're making necklaces out of extension cords. This is what you call a daisy chain. You don't know what a daisy chain is, maybe? Maybe you do. This is a daisy chain. It's an extension cord wound up in this neat little knot. And the reason you do it is so when you take this end loose right here, it pulls right apart. And if it's 100 foot long, 50 foot long, you only pull out what you need. So if you only need 10, 20 feet, you only pull out 10 or 20 feet. You don't have to unwind the whole 100 footer. You can throw it in your toolbox, hang it on the shelf, wad it up, put it in a ball, never doesn't wad up. See that? Very cool. How do you do it? You got another extension cord right here. We're gonna start with this one. Put two ends together, find the center. Maybe we find the center, I don't know. Did you put a knot in this one? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is what you don't wanna do, folks. You won't have to do this. You don't want to have to sit here and have to find all this. There we go. Okay, that's probably extension cord. Find the middle. Mark it however you want. Put tape, zip tie, put a knot. I prefer a knot, but trust me when I tell you this, if you put a knot in that, your friend's going to untie it. Okay, so just remember that. When it's laying on the floor, he's going to see down there's a knot. He's going to go, there's not supposed to be a knot in extension cord. He's going to untie the knot for you. So find the center of it. Go back. You know, you got it right here, no big deal. Take that, tie a knot. If I can do this here, get it as close to the center as you can. I guess it depends on how OCD you are, if you care. All right, here we go. Got the end of that. Come over, there's your knot. Right there. This is what your buddy's gonna undo every single time. So the next time you go to pick it up, it's gonna be gone. You're gonna be dang it, I did all that again. So here you go. How you make a daisy chain? Take the loop, fold it over itself, and go down like that, and it creates this neat little loop right here. Stick your arm through, grab the other side, pull it through. Just keep repeating that, sticking it through and pulling it out. Like I said, you can understand, arm through, grab it, pull it back. So you can go as big as you want, big old loops, or a little bitty tight loops, like on this cord right here. So the smaller the loops, the shorter your daisy chain is going to be. So if you want to go with a smaller loop, sure enough, all you do is pull through a little at a time, like this. Pull it back through. Look at that. Voila! 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 Yahtzee! Here we go. We're doing good now, folks. That's it. So you can see here, you pull that out. It's longer than this one. You see that? There's a difference. So the tighter you make it, the shorter it'll be. 100 foot cord really matters. Now, why do you do this? You got a 100 foot cord, this is 25. So imagine this being four times the size. And you only need 10, 15 feet, 20 feet, 50 feet. When you grab the end right here and you pull it apart, like so, and once you get your little knot on the end, you see this little piece right here, it's going to come right apart. So when you start pulling, it's just going to pop apart. Well, if that's all you need, you leave it. Because that may be 75 foot of extension cord. You plug this into the wall and plug it into the wall. And if you need some more while it's plugged up, you just pull it. It just comes apart. So easy. So easy. Never any janky knots. Then you just pick it back up. Find the nearest loop and you just start putting it back together. Then you can move it around 10, 15, 20, 30 times, throw it in a toolbox, whatever, and it's never in a big old janky knot. Very annoying. Daisy chain, ladies and gentlemen. And today in Bleepin' Jeep Garage, the daisy chain is the tip and trick of the day. What are we doing? I feel like I'm lassoing a horse. But here, Matt. Okay. Well, turn it back on. It is. It's see wrong. what you learned. It's wrong. Okay. Let me there see if go. I can do it. All okay. right. Hold on. Um, okay. Wait. Go over like, and then push down. Yeah. Okay. Then arm through. And then pull. And then arm through. I got it. See? Yeah, I told you. I'm a great teacher. <laughs> It's a little harder than it looks. Well, it's more on a table. 
if you were just standing up, it'd with be some easy. practice, I think I could have this down. You don't have to stick your arm through. Try to stick in your fingers through. Okay, like that. Yeah, it's a lot easier that way. Make little smaller loops. Yeah. How long does this take when you have a hundred foot cord and you have to do the whole thing? It doesn't take long because normally you just do big old loops and just chuck it in the box. Now, when you get to the end, you put this through here. Yep. You just shove it through like normal. Okay. And pull it tight. Sweet! My first daisy chain. Okay, now, let me ask you this. Let's say you want to use... Don't pull that back through again. You, oh, you did it now. Pull, you pulled it twice. Okay. Pull it back through there and you'll undo it. There you go. Now here? pull it. Yep. Okay. Let's say you only want to use half of it, but you want to keep people from tripping on it and pulling it out. Can you like... All you, technically is to, all you technically do is go back through it like that right there. You if you really it. wanted to. And then it would be locked down. It would be like a little knot. Okay, there you go. So that's what I was wondering. So now, you can't pull it through. That way, that way it doesn't accidentally come loose. Right? You'd never do that, folks. It's too easy to tie it back up. Who cares if it comes accidentally? Unless you're trying to span a hammock with it or something, which I wouldn't <laughs> recommend doing. Sweet. Yeah. But 100 foot cord, 50 foot cord, you really see it. This little cord, you, it's not, you don't notice it as much. You don't notice the benefits, I guess you'd say. Well, this is why I, ne I have never owned a 100 foot cord because I would throw them away if I did. They're always in a giant <laughs> knot, always. I got too frustrated with that and just started using 25 foot cords and attaching them together. But cool, I like it.